that is not the face of somebody I want treating me right now. Oh, my beautiful legs. What's up guys and welcome to Helping Hand. So some of you guys might remember that years ago I played the demo for this game and I had a blast with it. People seem to enjoy watching it too because it ended up being one of my most viewed videos ever somehow. So I figured now that the full game is out, I should probably give it a try. And apparently they've added a ton of stuff to the game. Like it's not just the hospital anymore. We have a dozen different areas that we can go to. And I guess your choices lead you down certain paths that result in alternate endings, which I did not expect. Am I dead yet? Am I dead yet? No, he's awake. Hello, prep the syringes for his spinal fluids. No, 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 those are, those are my spinal fluids. It's a miracle, how can you still be alive? Which one of us is the doctor here? Why are you asking me? We'll save the small talk for later. We need to do some responsive tests to check your brain functionality. Can you please make this shape with your fingers? Oh, you didn't. This doesn't look good, doctor. I think I have ghost piano syndrome. I'm not sure if I can actually give you one of those. I can give you a fat one of these. How about that? Uh, <laughs> How rude. Are you okay? Do you have something in your mouth? I'm starting to think that this guy isn't a doctor. I'm willing to bet that he showed up here just like me, except with the missing tongue or a broken jaw or something like that. And now he's as high as a kite and he's wandering around with a stethoscope and a white lab coat, pretending to be a doctor nurse. I want Dr. Mumbles out of here, please. Lower your index finger and thumb. Oh, well, why didn't you just say that in the first place? Fascinating. You're doing very well. Thank you. Now, please lower all your fingers besides your thumb. Oh, yeah, I can definitely give you this Yelp review. How do you feel about that? Excellent. You're definitely getting the hand of this. Ha <laughs> ha. The hand of what? Moving my hand? I've been doing this a while. Uh, doctor? Should I be seeing ghost thumbs? Do you see a ghost thumb? Oh, you just want to rock out with your PhD cock out. I see how it is. Uh, one of these? Yeah, there we go. Brilliant. It seems as though your hand is perfectly intact. I just want to test one more gesture. No, no, no. When I called for a nurse, I didn't mean... I forgot about Barbara. Barbara and I aren't on the best of terms. Here, Barbara, you can have one of these too. Nice to see you, old biddy. All right, all right. If you insist, Dr. Mumbles, we can get along. You see, peace, Barbara. Perfect. Your hand seems to be functioning as normal. You should consider yourself lucky. What about the rest of me? Nobody knows how you made it out of that accident alive. Hey, Doc, have you made him pull one of these yet? <laughs> There's Barbara, that is extremely unprofessional of you. Yes, screw you, Barbara. That was what I did. Oh, please, he'll get over it. Yeah, I'll get over it. Or under it? Like he did that with that truck. Oh, I see how it is. You're just gonna bring up the whole truck thing. Barbara, please try not to anger the patient. We can't risk his heart rate getting... Oh no. Oh no, oh no! Barbara, Barbara, you've killed me! His heart is giving in, or out. I think it's giving out. Barbara, don't just stand there, help me! She's gonna stand there with her arms crossed and then go for a smoke break. And then I drove home happily ever after. Welcome to the Polka Radio. Does that mean I poke the radio, or is it like polka? Because I'm not really into polka. Oh, I just, I got a point. Uh, that is just awful. That is so off key. Uh, okay, that's enough. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I could drive with this. I don't even know what that's saying. It doesn't matter. I'm enjoying my tunes. But we gotta keep trying, right? We gotta see what else is on. Not too bad either. Everything is beating whatever channel one was. <laughs> Can I do anything else? No? Oh yeah, screw you, radio. We just, there we go. A lot of electronic music. I don't really find anything else. I feel like I should be shopping right now. I'm also driving 
on the right side of my car. And those are my legs, huh? I've never seen my legs before. I have some twiggy little weird leg. I had some twiggy little weird legs. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh my God. What am I supposed to do here? This isn't how it was like in training. They never taught us to stop guts from spilling out. Oh no, my insides are outsides. Oh my god, you're awake? How are you awake? Are you feeling okay? That is not the face of somebody I want treating me right now. Oh my beautiful legs. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm feeling great. Never better. You're feeling okay? You're feeling okay. How are you feeling okay? I don't know how this is possible. Listen, man, I'm not the doctor here. I keep telling this to everybody, but your guts are hanging out right now. You have to help me. I need to help you? Just no, you help yourself. Oh God, I bled a little bit. Oh my God, where did that come from? It came from inside of me. You're bleeding so much, man. I can't do this all myself. I need someone back here. I, I don't know. Okay, okay. Uh, get your shit together, James. You've got James, James, okay. James, here, I, I need you to hold on to my phone, okay? James, are you kidding me right now? Don't look at me like that. Do you see any room in this ambulance? There's a table over there, James, you have pockets. Just hold on to it, okay? Don't let go. This isn't the Titanic, James. You have to make sure all your fingers are held down, okay? Otherwise, it'll slip. Really? Right now, I'm just focusing on being alive, James. I'm not an iPhone charger. Hello? No, James, I'm talking to the audience, okay? Just... James, how can I hold this? My arm's outside of my skin. Okay, yes, fine, fine. Give me two, give me, give me, give me, give, give me. Give, James, I swear to God, give me, give me, give me. Okay, okay. I'll just, I don't know, maybe set it on the ground, in my pocket, on the table. I'll put it on the floor, okay? Okay, here we go. So I didn't actually need to hold it. I'll just stitch this here and make sure the blood doesn't clot in your veins. All oh, sounds like a good idea. Again, I'm not the doctor, but, uh, oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. James, no, James, James, hold it together, James. Don't throw up inside of me. So many guts, so much blood. James, I'm talking to you right now, look at me. Why did I decide to become a paramedic? Okay, okay, I just gotta hold it together. Do not throw up inside of me. Okay, just gotta put this pipe back inside the stomach and oh my god, I don't even know what this is, but oh uh, no, no, James, James, please. D no, don't be sick. Don't vomit inside the patient. I really don't want that, okay? That's where my poop goes. Okay, just one last bit here. Yeah, one last bit. Everything's going great. Go team, and we're done. Okay, phew. I thought that was never gonna end. We're done? You look pretty bad. Yeah, James, this isn't the way that I showed up here. You better put me back the way that I was. Gum and glue. What? Oh no, your vitals are dropping. I can't imagine why, James. <laughs> James, there's like there's, there's a machine behind you that's saying that it's ready. Maybe you could go get the machine. James, James, the machine. The machine, James. No, okay. Well, I guess I'm just dead. Maybe that's why they don't show me the rest of my body. Oh. Hey, Dr. Mumbles, how are you? Oh, good, you're awake. We were worried about you. Who's we? Clearly not you and Barbara. Don't panic, now is not the time to tell me not to panic. You've been in an accident, but you're okay now. Am I? Well, I mean, you're alive. This might be hard for you to hear, because you don't open your mouth when you speak, but almost every part of your body is broken. Yeah, no, no shit. Your, your toe is broken. That was the main thing that I was worried about. Your fingernails are broken. They look fine, right? They're all there. The muscles in your mouth, broken. Are you thinking about you? Are you confusing us right now? Unfortunately, you can only communicate with your left hand. So, how are you feeling? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, okay? I'm a little upset. I wouldn't mind speaking to James and just giving him one of these. Excuse you? Now listen here. I'm listening, it's all I really can do. I know that you're experiencing a lot of discomfort and pain, but that does not mean you have to be rude to us. 
I guess that's kind of true. We are just trying to help you. Doctor, my pee bag is filling up. D does that... Does that concern anybody? Anyway, if you need to communicate with us, just use your hand. How do I use my hand to communicate pee bag? I'm gonna try to remember the extensive training that Dr. Mumbles gave me and do this. There you go. I think it's time to introduce you to the nurse. No, no, Barbara, he's ready for you. I already met Barbara. We had our exchange. What? <laughs> Barbara's voice is great. I said he's ready for you. Oh. Great. Is Barbara deaf? She sounds like she's got a deaf person voice. Another shitty job for the oldest nurse in the building. Why do I always get the gross ones? Excuse you? Oh, God, look at you. You're disgusting. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, it, it takes one to know one, Barbara. <laughs> you better watch it, you little punk. Just because you're a cripple doesn't mean no. Now, now, nurse. Hey, you hear that, Dr. Mumbles? This is how you run your establishment? Let's try to be sympathetic as we can. Yeah, pee, pee bag. Pee bag. Sympathetic, schmimpathetic. You're a little asshole. <laughs> yep. I'm going for a smoke. I told you. I told you that's exactly what she would do. Ha ha. Oh, never mind, Nurse Barbara. She's only responsible for keeping you alive. She could be a little cranky, but please be patient with her. I am a patient. What more can I be? <laughs> she will be in charge of your vitals and to clean your catheter. Okay. Yeah, clean the pee bag. So, try to be nice as you can. I will try my absolute best. Oh, and one more thing. If you ever need Nurse Barbara, just point the blue button. It appears in front of you. Oh, I was going to say, I don't, I don't have a blue button. Careful, though. Try not to bother her too much. Or what? She'll kill me in my sleep? Do you have... Oh. The fact that he just kind of shuffles away without losing eye contact, slides between the door, and never answers that joke that I made. Like, it was a joke, but uh, the lack of laughter or response makes me think that might have not been a joke. Hey. Who's Zoe? This is it, I think. How you doing? You my girlfriend? You sure? I thought... Uh, what kind of big bird freak is walking in here? Oh, it's a balloon. <laughs> hey, this is the doctor's favorite patient. Hi. I don't feel so good. My insides are outsides. My name is Zoe. This is Tyler. We are from the Dying for a Dream Foundation. We've come here today because we heard that you're dying. There's someone here who could use some cheering up. Listen, there's no nice way to approach this subject. We have dorky hats and a balloon, but since you are a terminal patient, we thought it'd be good to give you something. I'm dying. What you've always wanted. Within reason, I mean. Okay, I want Zoe. Just hop up. That, that would work. How do I how do I symbol that? Would it be I, I think it's uh I think it's probably uh thi this this one, right? Uh, one, or, or, no wait, hold on. It's this one. Right? Two in the pink, one in the stink. Oh, they're asking me for my name. Uh how do I give name? I don't know sign language, guys. <laughs> My name is Peabag. Can you maybe change my Peabag? I don't have the nurse here. Um, my name is this. Uh, Tyler? They never mentioned that this patient was mentally challenged, did they? You can't just say that in front of me. No, it doesn't say anything like that on my papers. It doesn't say the name, perhaps? Why would they cover a cardiovascular disease patient... Oh, oh, no, trust me, trust me. Cardiovascular and everything else is all botched down here. You got the right place. Yes, 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 of course. We can't go through all the paperwork again. <gasps> anyway, we've come here today to offer you this handy fruit basket. Great. I can't wait to eat that raw pineapple with my one hand and probably no teeth. Please accept this gift from us. Uh, yeah, I mean, if it makes you guys leave so that Barbara can come in and change out my Wii, and I, I really don't want that balloon, so sure, yeah, thank you. Really? Oh, good. He seems surprised. 
Like, obviously, I wouldn't want this crap. See, I told you, the patients eat this shit up. <laughs> There's no need to go out of budget unnecessarily. Great, we'll just place this over here for you. Thank you. Is that okay? Um, yeah, yeah, rock on. Tyler, do you think he can understand us? <laughs> Uh, maybe his brain damage is too much. I like to think that I'm kind of slumped and it's just like a little drool coming out of my mouth. Okay, I'll ask him again. Do you want, we're learning their language here, this fruit? Um, yes. Yeah, it's... It's a decent gift to give. Decent. Yes, I'm sure our dear friend here will love it. Can you just set it down, okay? I'm up to my eyeballs and pits here, lady. We'll be going now. Okay, bye-bye. Waving. This is all I got. Okay, all right. Bye. Uh, but well, bye now. Bye now. Can you please just leave? You. Take care of yourself. Okay, okay, I will. I'll, I'll be sure to take good care of myself. Good care of myself. I'm crushing your head, Zoe. <sighs> okay, I'm I'm blacking out. Is that from the P or am I going somewhere else now? What? Wow, I'm gonna miss him. Really? You didn't even know him. Yeah, well, he just seemed really nice, you know, so full of life. Yeah, weird how he always had such a weak bladder, though. It's like he couldn't keep it in. Also, I'm pretty sure that's how catheters work. <laughs> I died from pee because of the Make-A-Wish people. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Helping Hand, guys. And I got to say, I had a lot of fun with this. I really enjoy commentating over this game, so I would love to play more. And there's apparently so much more to see. Look, look, there's like half a dozen other areas. We were in our car, we were in the ambulance, then the hospital. So I don't know if every one of these is a different location and then a bunch of different possible endings, but I would love to find out. So if you guys want to see more, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and then maybe we'll return to see if Barbara can actually do her job, that miserable old bitch. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.